Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. If you've already watched our previous tutorial videos, you know how to write select queries. But the possibilities of using this SQL statement are much more comprehensive than what they might seem at first glance. Today we'll talk about null values and how to check a table for them. If you are going to fill a database with data that's optional, then you can allow null values for such fields when creating a table. Please notice that this kind of value differs from a zero value or a field containing spaces. In the case of a null value, you simply leave the cell empty without adding any data to it. To check if a cell contains a value or if it's null, you need to use the isNull and isNotNull operators after the WHERE clause. Let's look at how it works with an example. By now, you should have already installed the dBeaver community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. First, let's view the customer table by running a simple SELECT query. SELECT asterisk FROM CUSTOMER As you can see, this table does not have a company name for each customer. If we want to add companies to such rows, you can find them quickly by running the following query. SELECT asterisk FROM CUSTOMER WHERE COMPANY IS NULL if you know that customer Helena Holly works in D Beaver Co., you can add the company's name to the corresponding field. To do so, execute the following Update customer set company equals D Beaver Co., where first name equals Helena and last name equals Holly. To learn more about updating tables, please watch our tutorial video dedicated to the update statement. You can find a link to it in the description below the video. In some cases, we may need to get only the rows which have a value in a certain column. For example, if we want to send a fax to our customers, we first need to ensure that they have a fax number. To do this, execute the following query. Select asterisk from customer where fax is not null. The result set we got shows us which customers can receive a fax from us, and we can use this to send documents to them. Now you know how to test your table records to make sure specific cells have values. Our following video will teach you how to use other basic statements. If you want to be sure that you don't miss the next part of this series, Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.